Writing in HTML is a good place to start thinking about programming, because it lets you try out a few ideas that are really essential to programming, but it also lets you get really quick feedback on what you're learning, because you can see everything in your web browser. As you work through this lesson, here are some big concepts to watch for. Keeping an eye out for these will help you a lot. The first concept to watch for is syntax, which is another word for the grammar rules of a language. Now, natural languages like English have grammar rules, and so do computer languages like HTML or Python. For instance, in English, we would say, the dog ran through the yard, and not, dog yard ran the the through. That would be ungrammatical. It wouldn't make sense. And that's what programmers call a syntax error. Now, computer languages have grammar rules too, rules for how you put your code together. As you learn a new language, you'll pick up on these grammar rules. Sometimes we'll tell you these rules explicitly. Other times, you'll learn them by example. The second thing to keep in mind is something that computer scientists call formalism, but sometimes programmers will call computers are stupid. With a few exceptions, computers take code totally literally, word for word, letter for letter. The computer cannot guess what you really mean. It can only do what you tell it to. For instance, in HTML, if you want to put a title on a web page, you'll write the word title inside these symbols. If you write a typo like T-I-L-T-E instead, the computer will not guess that you mean T-I-T-L-E. You always have to be careful with spelling and punctuation in programming. There's usually no autocorrect. A third big idea is an aspect of syntax that will keep showing up in every computer language you learn. This is the concept of nesting. It has to do with how some bits of code can go inside other bits of code in an orderly way. Now, this is something that we have in human language too. For instance, when we tell a story where people talk about talking with each other, we can use nested quote marks to say that Jessica said that Bob told her something about Mary. You'll see things like this in programming as well. Now that was a little abstract, I know. When nesting comes up, we'll try to point it out for you, and it will show up pretty often. The last big idea I want you to be aware of as you learn is that there is a lot of help available. There are a lot of people in the world learning to code right now. You're one of them and there are a lot of resources to help you learn. One of a programmer's most important tools is documentation, the manuals and tutorials that are out there for the languages that you're learning and working with. For instance, you can find out just about everything there is to know about HTML by looking it up on the Mozilla Developer Network, or MDN, website. Aside from the resources that Udacity brings you, there's a whole lot of help that you can find just by using your favorite search engine. 